evening. This is Dave Penscover's fault. He's the real mayor of Boulder, my neighbor. All right, uh, Secret Life All Electric Household, um, what your contractor won't tell you. And uh, I'm gonna really bring it down to an amateur level here. It's been way too professional, so now you're gonna get down, down on the street level here. Um, our house was built in 66. Using our upgraded 1966 2000 square foot split level, very typical. We're gonna explain beneficial electrification, give you some tips and techniques, and dispel some myths. And our toilets really are electric. And that should be a Swiffer. I'm sorry, it's toilet paper. It should be a, I didn't, didn't get the note from Bill. Um, Dave Takahashi wax is poetic about BE, but what is it? Um, it's replacing fossil fuel burning stuff with high efficiency electric stuff. Told you I'd keep it real simple here. Um, and what are some of those things? Uh, what's BE have to do with you? Well, you live in a house that's probably gas, uh, methane heated. You probably drive a gasoline car. You're an American, so you have a big carbon footprint compared to the rest of the world. That's uh, Colorado's uh, energy pie. There's your house and your car, they're big chunks. The big gray chunk is XLs. Um, here's all the pieces. A lawnmower, is mini splits, uh, heat pump water heater, um, solar plus storage. There's my Chevy Bolt and electric range top. Those are all the parts. Lawn equipment's a big deal. That's actually a really big one. Um, so try to electrify all that. Um, I'll compile all this stuff. This is our year-to-date data off, uh, thanks to um, Emporia. Heat pumps account for 50% of our total power use. EVs are 25%. Look at that, that's most of it right there. And our hybrid water heater is only 3%. Heating in cars are almost everything. Another graph, um, this one uh, breaking down the heat pump usage, that 50%, over 80% of that is heating. We haven't even rolled into uh, November, December yet. So um, most of it is heat, 20% for cooling. Cooling's really low demand with a high efficiency house. Other big takeaways, uh, PV production easily handles EV charging and um, air conditioning in the summertime. We run our AC all the time, don't think about it. Stove's only 1%, just choose that for health. Water pump, uh, water heater's only 3% once again. There's our monthly power use. Our more takeaways, don't greenwash, because that's what I do on the right, I just expel my food. Um, focus on the big things, foundational stuff, air sealing and insulation. Heating, obviously, uh, cars, transit, I don't care if it's a skateboard, and then what you eat, that's big too. Tips and techniques, I gotta read this one, I can't memorize this. Uh, compressor placement, EV, HRV, repurposing ductwork, in-floor heating, gonna charge your EV, world of small filters, hybrid water heater, V to H, and shades. We're gonna hit all those right now. This guy's happy because he has my ream water heater. Um, it's Colorado, different sides of your house are different climate zones. Think about where you put your inverter. A lot of contractors won't. Protect it from snow. Your contractor will put it on a stand. We put a custom made cover on ours and comply with clearances for that thing too. Don't get it too close to your house. Um, you've insulated your house, made it airtight. You're getting fresh air in there, you are not. You have air quality issues. You need a heat or energy recovery ventilator. You've heard about that before tonight. Um, there's a schematic on the top and there's our actual one in the bottom with the exchanger pulled out. Just a lot of fins. Um, we have a lot of heat back up in our house. We have a really nice uh, wood stove. We have space heaters, so we removed our gas furnace. We repurposed our old ductwork for an HRV installation. We have optimal HRV installation using, what, 55-year-old ductwork. Super cool move. Um, you need to put in floor heating to make your house efficient. You don't. A lot of people do this. You do not need it with these mini splits. They have IR sensing. They know when you're in the room. And they have all sorts of other sophisticated automation, including air mixing. We have perfect air distribution in our rooms. You're getting solar so you can charge your car. No, you're not, not on level two. Um, rare is a PV system that can drive level two uh, for the sustained time. You can trickle charge on level one. To wit, there's our Bolt uh, level one charger parked next to one of our level two chargers. Welcome to the world of small filters. Get into small filters, they're so exciting. So. <laughs> The mini splits, you want to vacuum them every two weeks. HRV and ERV has one. Even our toilets have air filters. So uh, you got to get a little weird and think filters. <laughs> Hybrid hot water heaters are insanely amazing. Um, every month with two women in the house and I hand wash all the time, we only use about a therm of gas. Think about that. We're, that's one fifteenth. We're one eighth. Uh, we use one eighth energy of a hot gas hot water heater. Using an inverter, our EVs, talking vehicle to house, our EVs can supply approximately 1,000 watts continuously for the life of the tra traction battery. So that my Bolt can drive a, uh, a, that inverter at 1,000 watts for almost two days. My Tesla can do three days. Rolling Bahama shutters and Virginia creeper, that's the vine there. Um, there are multi-tools for our house. Um, rolling shutters predicting ends high winds, forced entry, hail, heat, cold, and fire. Um, they double the R value of a double pane window and then that beautiful uh, Virginia Creeper there for shade. There's lots more. Uh, we have a charge controller with um, PV inverter and charge controller waste heat recapture. Come visit us as we continue to experiment 
and we're standing up Go Electric Colorado. Watch for us. We're going to be uh, online here in a couple of months. Thank you.